NBA commish Adam Silver has a different point of view as to why those ratings are down. Now, this comes after some numbers, some bad numbers. NBA ratings have dropped significantly with ESPN viewership down 28% year over year for the 24-25 season, following a 12% decrease in playoff viewership last season. The league has lost around 45% of its viewership since 2012. That's f***ing nuts. Yeah. Illegal streaming? Stop it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and hey, I'll I'm, get into I'm, it this, this yeah, topic, man. I, I'm ready to, hey, listen, I'm listen. Ready to step back. Yeah, um, nah. Again, the league lost around 45% of its for- viewership since 2012. And excuses like the election and World Series don't explain this long-term decline. I'm not going to lie. I do feel like the chill guy meme. I'm just a chill guy who illegally streams. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Like you use it, right? That's that's they they so stupid. Uh, From Daniel Roberts on Twitter says NBA ratings down three percent on TNT, down twenty eight percent on ESPN through November fourteenth. Shaq says it's too much three point shooting. Uh, He says David says it's not or Daniel says not enough storylines. We got to tap into what Adam Silver said though. Adam Silver says. I don't think it has anything to do. I wish they would have recorded him because you know he gets the stuttering. <laughs> he gets the stuttering. Um, 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 and I'm glad you asked that. Um, uh, uh, B Souls from Let's Keep It a Buck, right? Um, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with three point shooting, right? Mm. Uh, the ratings dip can be attributed to the particulars of the calendar mm, and the fierce competition for viewers' attention. He said. Viewership for NBA games has dropped double digits through opening week. What he's talking about is the election, football season, and a banger um, World Series. Now, before we go any deeper, because there are a bunch of numbers, what are your just immediate thoughts of Adam Silver's excuse this is the commissioner of the nba and i want i want to be clear people were so critical on the wnba's commissioner for all this stuff but they said they they said the big dog needs to come in the big dog needs to speak and this is what he arfed up this is what he did what are your thoughts on him saying it's just baseball in the election but whether we whether you agree or disagree on this shit dying you could be the biggest well actually stat nerd out there gang come on that was some bullshit. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. If if the face of my company, like not, not the face of my company, I'm sorry, the president of my company, the owner of my company came out there and said, the mother niggas just built different. What? No, bro. That That's one hitter called a TKO. This is, I, I hate to pull this card, copium if you think otherwise. That statement is bullshit. You think the NBA isn't dying? Have your paragraph, gang. But my God, that's copium. That, that was awful. We'll, we'll get into it in, in a little bit. I do think the whole issue of viewership is a multifaceted issue that cannot just be pinpointed to one thing. It, it, it just isn't. However, that right there was like when a YouTuber says, man, my videos suck because the algorithm just hates me. Oh, God. Uh, Kai streaming. That's why I only got 10 viewers. Lie, All right, bro. bro. God I damn, bro. Screen, so I see you on December. Fuck out of here, man. Hey, you, you hear what, what Duke said this week? No, nah. I didn't. No, no, no. Okay, it's it's cool. I'm I'm too tapped in. He said, "Don't duck no streamer, man. You know, for for the new streamers out there, why are you ducking a streamer? Because if your fan base really leaves when Kai's on, do you really got a fan base? Mm, Come shit. on, I got the and I I put my where my Duke Dennis wig on because yeah, what? Uh, I got a Duke Dennis wig. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, long story short, Adam, I have a conversation with Duke, man. <laughs> type shit. <laughs> No, I, I want to, because cause I ain't going to lie, he must think we stupid or pussy, one or two. <laughs> oh, my God. Because <laughs> oh, you might I think saw, you're stupid. I get when, that. when I saw that, I was thinking to myself, yo, shit, this was the first election. This is crazy, gang. Very first person. Yo, this is the first NFL season. That's I never thought of no shit like that. Yo, America's pastime. Just became his pastime. 
You understand what I'm saying? He came as present. Time. This is his present. <laughs> I, baseball has never a good World Series has never, never existed, happened. and I know people are gonna talk about. Well, Omar, this was Dodgers versus. Nah, nah, nah. And I even see somebody down there trying to cop the please right now. Well, the election was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, and I was saying this in the space. This was the tamest Trump election we have seen. Yeah, of, of all the Trumps ones. You yeah. think so? This, out of the trilogy? Of all the Trump ones? Yeah. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Be, be so Trump ones, yeah. Maybe I just didn't care in 2020, 2016, and I was young. I, I don't brother, care about politics. Brother, but, let me yeah. say this. Let me say this. And, and that's part of the conversation, too, though, because that's why he's bullshit, and I'm going to keep going on. Dog, they only debated one time. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, back then they debated multiple times. But yeah, even Biden and Trump was crazy. Even outside of that, the news and the stories, like grab her by the pussy. What? When that shit dropped? <laughs> oh hell no! This yeah. guy is nuts. When the, when the nigga Joe Biden was like seeming like a literal dying man in the debates, they were like, "Okay, gang." Like it literally had some Democrats in there, like, "All right, man." Whoa. <laughs> this guy, like it was that it was so fucking crazy it, the memes were all over the place yeah no this was definitely the tame one and then what was the other one hillary right hillary yeah that yeah, was the, hillary, that was the, oh, e that was the emails that was when all the corrupt shit came out and that's when all the illegal shit people was coming out saying that he assaulted them like literally all of that shit came out at the same exact time close to the election that's the other thing too mm -hmm. people talking about the the failed uh, uh, endings of his life. I'm not going to lie. That shit was back in June or July. And to be quite honest with you, a pre this is this is what I mean by that. This is how I know America really didn't care. Think about this. The last time that there was an attempt on a president's life, gang, like my grandfather was a child, right? This is like Nixon's type stuff. We're talking about old stuff for Reagan. What is it? We're talking about old stuff. That that doesn't happen in present day time in America. That shit lasted for a, a week. Niggas did not talk about it no more. But that's what I'm saying. I, I think the way we consume media now, that that just may be a, a call to that. Like be so we, we don't we don't care about shit until like four or five months after. Like, bro, people were saying fucking uh they not like us was overplayed after a month. Be so I'm uh, uh I understand that there are some things that should catapult you into different conversations a president getting his life attempted on it, it should have been a clear and it's not a clear that story. should carry That's way clear. longer but but also and i and i want to say this before we move on and i don't want to beat the dead hammer i'm not gonna lie the overlap between the politics guy the football guy and the basketball guy is like mark lamont hill right <laughs> I, I i don't like it's just maybe a handful of people that and, and baseball i'm sorry that makes you say to yourself, oh, God, I, I really got to make a decision as to what I'm going to watch in 2024 when I have a phone, two monitors, a laptop, and an iPad. I got to make a decision. Stop it, brother. Stop it. I'm, I, I don't think any of us over here have that much overlap. Like, if the Steelers game was on, the Lakers game was on, and the election was on, maybe Sage would struggle between the Steelers and the Lakers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm watching this right now. <laughs> yeah. And maybe B Souls might struggle between. No, B Souls wouldn't struggle between shit like ah. It's just stupid. But let let me keep going on. Now we do have some positive notes. Talk to us. Um, the opening night of the NBA Cup, uh, the league's new in-season tournament, saw a 71 percent rise in ratings compared to the same time last year. Okay, okay, that's good. That that that's what we said. That's good numbers for me. I said if I, you know, I would see if it was working. Uh, these numbers are heavily skewed, though, <laughs> uh, because Steph and Clay's first game playing each other. The NBA has seen similar dips, notably in 2019, when ratings fell nearly 20% due to star injuries and the Warriors' dominance. Now, again, people would like to bring up other sports and other things because if it's if these are things, if competition and all these things are a factor, you would probably see the same things trend across the board, right? Like if the election was so powerful, it would take away viewership from all these other things. Mm -hmm. um, this is a comparison to football. The NFL also saw a drop in ratings in 2016, 2017, 8 to 9%, but rebounded strongly. This season, the NFL viewership surged with a record 17.3 million viewers through week 10, the highest <laughs> since 2015. No election, no World Series to really compete with. Uh, NFL's top games often feature the Cowboys, not stars like players uh, Stephen Curry. 
In a 2023 survey, because this is what they always talk about streaming sites, of 3,200 NFL fans found that 35% of respondents regularly watch NFL games on pirate streams. The problem isn't unique to the NFL. Uh, Most other live sports matches are available through illegal streaming services. Despite this, numbers seem to have been steady on the rise for a decade. Let's cut. Let's let's peel the bandaid off. B souls, please. All right. Tell so, me. Tell me why this is bullshit. Um. So for those who don't know, I was in L.A. this weekend, a uh, business trip with Playback, and um, for those who don't know about Playback, they're pretty. They, they're they're partnered with the NBA, so they know a lot of uh, of people within the industry. And I don't I don't want to leak my sources now and who said who and sources what what it, what exactly was said. But essentially, like this, this is a company who's like it is of their best interest to know exactly the sports landscape, how viewership works, and all of that. And one of one of the things that we were talking about was just like how listen, how big of a problem is illegal streaming? Like what what actually is going on? And essentially, my biggest takeaway was that the NBA has a lot of mini problems that are adding up. That's 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 my main thing. It, this is this is not a one solution. You fix this, boom, we're off to the races. All of these different things, and I know we just joked about them, but even what Adam Silver said, they all all these things play a factor. Like there, there's a if you like, I I, I like how um Omar said like Holly used to say, you're you're too you're too wise away from actually finding out the solution to things. So like, okay, the election's happening. Okay, the NFL is on. Okay, the the uh, World Series is on. It's not just because they're on, but why, like, why are people choosing those things over you? So ultimately, you still have to look inward and say, yo, there's a problem with my product as to why people aren't choosing my product instead of the other, other product. So there's a bunch of different things that we've talked about on this podcast. That's a problem with the NBA. Illegal streaming is one of them. Let's not get it twisted. It is one of them. Face of the league is one of them. The NFL is one of them. Scheduling, injuries, uh, you know, top level talent not caring, regular season, all of them. All these things matter. And it's not like a one solution. You solve this. The the media plays a problem in this as well. But because these issues are so small to the NBA that they don't feel like it's worth their energy just putting their attention to this little small thing because it's only going to move the needle 2 3%. When there's 15 different things, 16 different things that can move the needle 2 to 3%, that is 40% of the fucking needle being moved. Yo, B-Souls, I'm thinking about going into the streaming game. I'm trying to be like Casanet. Why? I need to make some money, man. I need to make some big bread. Well, if you want to make a lot of bread, you can go ahead and use the sponsor of this video, Prize Picks, our personal favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and sports to play with, Prize Picks definitely has you covered. They also offer weekly promotions that can lead to really big payouts such as Taco Tuesday. But B-Souls, I don't know how. It's pretty easy to make lineups on Prize Picks. They have a bunch of different sports you can choose from and then within those sports they have a bunch of different categories you can go to points points rebounds assists and if you really know what you're doing all you got to do is click more or less on your favorite player and you can win a bunch of money on prize picks all you got to do is select more select less just make sure they're not on the same team put an amount you're comfortable with and press submit lineup to submit a lineup go to pricepicks.com and use code lkib to receive a guaranteed 50 dollars once you play five dollars in lineups thanks to prize picks for sponsoring this video once again links to everything will be in the description and and back to the video. One thing I do just want to add to, I think um, we are on to give the NBA some bail here. I think we're a little bit too critical on comparing them to other leagues. I think there's yeah. certain there's certain things about the NBA that is just comparing apples to oranges. So, for example, the NFL could have what well, they do. They have higher ratings per game, but if you think about the quantity of games that the NBA is playing throughout the whole week. If you look at the total aggregate amount of viewers that they have throughout the whole week, it's not that far off from the NFL, like for real, for real. Yeah, so it, it's it, like peak, peak viewers, yeah, peak, peak viewership, you know, it, it's it's the channel, like Sage was about to say, the difference between the channel that uploads once a week getting uh, 120K, 150K views 
versus the channel uploading four or five times a week, getting 30K, 40K views. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what matters to you? Which which one's a, a better fucking channel to you? That's a conversation we have all the time, too. So Yeah, I, w- I was going to say um, that, yeah, now, however, they still, to a degree, do need to be held accountable for it because some people will hear you say that and be like, yeah, so stop doing it all together. No. Don't we, we shouldn't just not compare you to your competitors because even and me and be souls di- relate to this directly that's up to you if you want to have these these amount of games or in this or in the analogy that amount of uploads or whatever instead of the quality over quantity the nba for like maybe eight ten years minimum have been talking about do we need 82 so yeah that that's kind of just a natural selection thing for for them i i think the nba could just um yeah, I don't. I don't even need to ruin the souls bomb. If the NBA just took their issue seriously versus trying to point to something and be like, "It's not a big deal, bro. We're still good, man." And it's that shit's done trickle down to the community. That's the worst part. Yeah, no, I and and I want to show some things because I, I think what I appreciate about this platform. I know somebody said we we uh, are beating this conversation to death. I mean, it, it's it continues to come up. It's getting bigger. When somebody new says something, we're gonna say something. Yeah, I get it. We're gonna say something. But I wanted to point to this because this is one of the talking points for some people. The average prices, they price the fans out. But even that isn't the issue. MLB has stayed about the same. These are average ticket prices, 2010 to 2025, inflation adjusted. MLB has stayed around the same. NBA actually has some sort of drop right here. NFL has actually had its increase. Um, yeah. I I think to me a lot of the excuses are cooked. Like, a lot of the excuses are cooked. Um, I I just... that That's the problem. That's the problem with it. A lot of the excuses are cooked. Uh, it's not the three-point shooting. It's not the... Like, the people trying to point to one finger instead of having a real conversation, they're trying to get the clicks off. And until we have an actual conversation about why, until the NBA has an actual conversation about why, then they won't solve the actual issue. E- even if you have all these factors, we run a channel over here. We would sit down and ask ourselves, okay, we have this and they have that. Why are they choosing that over what we have over here that is this? Or even on the illegal streaming front, okay, they have the possibility of illegally streaming it, but we want them to do this thing this way. Why? Why are they choosing to do things the illegal way? There's numbers that suggest that the platforms are different. Based off of the stats, if the Celtics played the Lakers on TNT, people more, and it's the same week, it could be the same fucking week, people are more likely to tune in on TNT than ESPN. Why? Why? You have to ask the real questions about why. Until you get to those real wise, people can throw the bullshit darts at the board, do the nasty comparisons, and it, it won't stick. To be honest with you, it won't stick. So, especially if you came over here and, and expected to find us to say, well, psh, I'm tired of the light skins running the league, or it's the Europeans, or that. That's not it. <laughs> I, and I do think, and again, I'm going to sound another two year alarm. Um, what I do when I clean my room is I start by picking up my shoes. Because that's like, it, you know, the room can seem so overwhelming, but if I do this one thing, then it makes everything else, you know, manageable. If the ESPN doesn't start with, I mean, if, if the NBA doesn't start with picking up their shoes first, they're going to be asked out. They don't need to listen to these podcasters. They don't need to listen to these experts. If they don't start by picking up their shoes first and then go into hanging up the jackets and then go into putting the dirty clothes in the hamper, just one thing at a time, they're going to screw themselves over. Yeah, to be fair, I think I think three point shooting is an issue, but like the way Shaq was just on here talking about, I mean, this is this is why. I mean, fix this. We'll yeah, that, that ain't. We'll, we're <laughs> back for real. like, no, bro, it's it's a factor. I I ain't gonna change that, but nah, not end all be all shit. Yeah, I clean I clean my room in certain directions more than it is like a certain uh task thing. However, I do always get rid of the trash first, gang. We've been telling y'all league passes ass for the longest. I mean, when are, when are we gonna at least fix that shit? We've been telling you if you just had an NBA red zone, half of the fans would just like take the layup. They don't even take the layup. Tough. Yeah, and, and maybe maybe they have a different 
um, you know, way of building their business. You know, some YouTubers want to sell a digital product. They just want to get big enough to sell the digital product. Some people want to make the best view video. Some people want to run a shorts channel. There's multiple ways to skin a cat. Um, so maybe that's what they want to do. They want to do things differently. Um, that would be fine too. I just think that at the core, if people aren't watching and it's this big of a conversation, you're going to run into a huge issue. And I'm not, I'm not Mr. Answers, man. I could sit here and spurt off a bunch of answers that people think is correct. Uh, and, and everybody has their own point of view, but I can tell you for sure. If your leader is saying bullshit like the election, so we're just going to chalk it up to every four years, we're going to suck. We're just going to hope that baseball doesn't get better so we can compete. And we're going to hope that the NFL gets worse so we can compete. Like, that that's that's a bad way to look at things, gang. Uh, yeah. Things will rise up. Stuff is always going to come. Stuff is going to go. You can't use those as excuses. I think there are certain things that the NBA does, though, that, like, they're clearly prioritizing one thing over the other. Because, like, the rights deals, it is harder to just watch a, a regular NBA game now more than ever. Um, so I think Gilbert Arenas even pointed it out this week. Like, someone asked him, what, what is the problem with the NBA? His answer to that, and again, I don't, I don't believe this because his, he, 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 his answer was such a, oh, if they fix this and everything is good type of answer, which I just said I, I don't fuck with. But, it's like, one of, one of the things he pointed out was just like, yo, you got to, Oh, you, now you got to go to NBC to watch certain games. Now you got to get League Pass. Now you got to get this. Now you got to get that just to watch NBA games. Back in the day, bro, everything was on ABC. Everything was on NBC. You got cable or you don't. And you can watch like any game that you want. That's just it's not the case anymore. So, um, You know, we have to end every single one of them. Oh, oh Cruz wanted me to. I see this. Um. There's a stat about the election, just to kind of hammer that one home. In 2016, the last election year when there, where the election night happened during the season, the NBA doubleheader the night before the election was up 46% compared to 2015, meaning the election had little to do with 2016 numbers. Um, Sage, if you could, off the beaten path, something that we haven't said before, what's your one fix? Oh, shit. That haven't said before um fuck i mean we've skated over it hell fuck it for the sake of the consistency of the clip I, I we've talked about this for years i definitely think turning the games now would nip a lot of shit in the butt we get like that that's something that i think not a lot of people losing outside of i guess money i suppose so but outside outside of the dollars if you want to talk about getting higher ratings viewership things like that and hell maybe even more dollars if you thought long term enough but who the fuck am i compared to the geniuses and business uh business degrees in the nba so maybe i don't know logistics there but i would at least give it a shot at this point be so like a one solution like the one thing i'd like changed yeah just or man. nba red zone That'll throw you actually, in there. actually, I'm sorry. Swap that NBA red zone. NBA yeah, red. I think um, just making it easier to watch games. I, I have the luxury of like having fucking league pass on YouTube TV. But if I didn't have that, I don't know where I'd watch these games. I, I'd probably still be illegally streaming for a fool. <laughs> I would I like to. Like and I know I know that these are the things that make the NBA the most money. I would like to see a stretch where. Like local TV deals aren't a thing. Just, just you know, throw throw it out there. Let's get onto these big markets. Let's let's have NBC take some stuff, CBS take some stuff, um, uh, ABC take some stuff. Let's put all this shit on cable and let's really see what happens when the big guys on cable can just, psh, you know, put it on there. But out, outside of that, and this isn't some you know the most crazy advice and they're probably having conversations behind closed doors um a adam silver rig some shit <laughs> and address going back to this again rig, rig some shit and address the media i think that i think as much as people don't like it we are hurting because skip bayless isn't working we are hurting because Stephen a is old and decrepit now probably we should have you know uh, put some new talent in place or whatever the case may be, but the the media plays a big portion, and 
I'm a big proponent of that. So fix the media. Tight. 